Guys, if you're anything like me, you want to make sure that when you're air gun hunting, you are creating ethical kills on the game that you are after. And that's specifically important when you're hunting with air guns because usually the zones that you're hitting are oftentimes small. And that's what air gun hunting is about. It's about accuracy and precision. And sometimes there are tools on the market that you may not be aware of, I know I wasn't at the time, that are really gonna help you with that objective. And today, that tool is the MTC Optics Rapier Range Finder. I got this down here at the range today just to show you exactly what it's all about. First and foremost though, know that you are going to get the ranges out of this, but you're also gonna be able to plug in your ballistic information and it's gonna tell you exactly what your holdovers are based on the rifle that you are shooting. So before we go any further, let's get down to the range, check out the targets I've got set up, and let's get this thing rolling. 14 yards up 0.3 mils. So we're gonna start off here with a short target. I'm gonna point out the targets as we go along. They do get a little small out there, especially if you're viewing this on your iPhone or another phone. But I want you to draw your attention to the screen that is being projected on the phone there. You have the reticle as well as distances. You'll see that change throughout the video. And then here, I just really quickly want to go through the settings. You have the weather settings here. Then you'll also notice that you can put in your range manually. So if it's something you already know. And then you can look at and change the audio settings to give you as much information or as little information as you want broadcasted that's what you hear in the background then we look at our unit settings mil dot moa uh, a lot of options to go through 52 yards up 0.1 mils here you'll notice that we can have a couple different rifles set up and this is the information that you plug in with the ballistic coefficient zero distance muzzle velocity sights height uh, so you get your measurements just right And you'll notice some cuts in this video. I didn't want uh, you guys to have to sit through a 14 minute video, but I can assure you that I did clear this course on the first try, uh, just using the ballistic mils. range finder. And like I said, I didn't notice no, any of the distance. This shows you exactly what you would see if you look through the range finder. This shows 24 yards at a negative four degree angle. And then down at the bottom, you have your battery power level. At these further distances, I was mills. really pleased with how accurate uh, the rangefinder was. You notice that uh, based on the scope that I have, there wasn't a whole lot of movement, but we're going to take one out further after this, out all the way out uh, past 80 yards. All, right, now let's go ahead and take it all the way out. Let's see, um, see if we can get that chicken out there. Holy cow, there's a big orange chicken. 88 yards up 2.9 mils. 88 yards, 2.9 mils. All right, so up 2.9 mils. Let's see what we get. So it's almost three. We're just going to go ahead and go with three on the chicken. Where should I hit him? Where should I hit him? Should I just go ahead and hit him right? Oh, yeah, there you go. We're going to go right for the head. One, two, and three. Bam, nailed them. Just like that, guys. That is why you need this ballistic range finder that works in conjunction with your cell phone. If you're a hunter, a pester, this is gonna make sure you get that clean, clean kill that we all desire when we're out in the field, guys. Hey, until next time, may your trigger pull stay smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we're gonna see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.